containers by making it the whole way without breaking down. Now Tommy's Fiat is available in the used car section of cars.com. In connection with Car Talk's vehicle donation program, it is available to the highest bidder. All the proceeds will go to my NPR affiliate, WBEZ, Chicago Public Radio. Now I'm going to give you some of the high points and low points. The high points, the high points, uh, in, uh, here's one, I got one. The rear window in a car this old can be frosty, foggy, you know? It's actually quite clear. Not bad for a car this old. Another one, the top seals pretty well. Uh, that keeps water out. What else could explain 30 years worth of grunge? Now, the car has 91,000 plus original miles on it. I have no reason to believe the odometer was ever tampered with. For what it's worth, 1979, the car was kind of advanced. Four-wheel disc brakes, a, a brake proportioning valve, and the engine is a two-liter four-cylinder. It actually has double overhead cams. You know, GM just discovered overhead cams like a year ago. Some other selling points, new tires, uh, nothing has fallen off in at least a week. Uh, speeding tickets, impossible. Uh, it actually has a very low carbon footprint because it spends most of its time in the shop. There's an old joke that Fiat stands for, fix it again, Tony. I used to think that was really funny. Now, there are other downsides to the car. For one, there are a lot of little dimples and dings around the body, uh, actually pretty well masked by the cream paint color. There are also some rust bubbles, other blemishes. Actually, the worst is probably right here. Now, Tommy told me when I bought the car that this was similar to the Hopi Indians weaving imperfections into their blankets because they know when they uh, reach perfection, they will die. Uh, this is rust. I know that now. Uh, but the way I look at it is, the more the car rusts, the lighter it gets and the easier it is to push. Now Tommy's Fiat is in roughly the same condition he kept it in, which is to say appalling. Uh, I've made a couple of upgrades though. He warned me before I came to Cambridge that uh, the radio didn't work, so I brought along this Deluxe AM FM. Delco stereo from a 76 Oldsmobile, it's held in place by one of my best bungees. Now here's a feature you usually only see in new cars. You can connect your iPod to it. Uh, for example, this ought to be interesting. Didn't expect that. Uh, here we go. Ugh. Get me out of here. Here's some more extras. You get two wheel covers and a spare. Pick your three favorite wheels, dress them up. Now, uh, this is a small fire extinguisher. I've never needed it, but probably not a bad idea. Uh, this sign, you're, you might need that. Now, this bottle of antifreeze was gifted to me by Ray before I left Cambridge. Uh, it has been good luck, never been opened. Uh, other bottles, yes, just not this one. And then there's this, this Fiat Spider service manual. You are going to need this. And finally, if you get the car, you get some other crap that has fallen off previously. This housing never seemed to need it. Um, some other things here, a, a sun visor. It's a convertible, pointless. This seems to be an extra. I think uh, these users, by making it the whole way without breaking down. Now Tommy's Fiat is available in the used car section of cars.com. In connection with Car Talk's vehicle donation program, it is available to the highest bidder. All the proceeds will go to my NPR affiliate, WBEZ, Chicago Public Radio. Now I'm going to give you some of the high points and low points. The high points, the high points, uh, in, uh, here's one, I got one. The rear window in a car this old can be frosty, foggy, you know? It's actually quite clear. Not bad for a car this old. Another one, the top seals pretty well. Uh, that keeps water out. What else? 
could explain 30 years worth of grunge. Now, the car has 91,000 plus original miles on it. I have no reason to believe the odometer was ever tampered with. For what it's worth, 1979, the car was kind of advanced. Four-wheel disc brakes, a, a brake proportioning valve, and the engine is a two-liter four-cylinder. It actually has 